Hello, thank you for joining me once again on the basic differential statistic house. On today's tutorial, I shall be showing you how to write statement of the problem. Okay, basically the simplest way of writing statement of the problem. Okay, now remember the estimate of problem does not always have to be lengthy. It does not always have to be unnecessarily lengthy. To clarify the basic steps in the problem statement in research, this presentation will use the analogy of manufacturing sector performance. Okay. Now, the first thing you need to do is to state the ideal situation. Describe a desired goal or, or ideal condition explaining how things should be. For example, manufacturing sector are important engine of growth, antidote for unemployment, and creator of wealth. Okay, this is basically what we expect the manufacturing sector to do. Okay. Now, the second thing you need to do is to state clear, I mean, state clearly the reality or current situation. Present the reality on ground and describe the condition that prevent the goal or value in number one from being achieved or realized at this time. You need to show how the current situation falls short of the goal or ideal. For example, the manufacturing sectors are not growing or performing as expected as its outputs are declining, level of employment in the sector is dropping and capacity utilization is declining. Okay. Now the next thing you need to do is to state measures that have been put in place over time to solve the problem. For example, in light of the above, policymakers have employed several strategies such as tax incentives, subsidies, etc., meant for the manufacturing sector, which were aimed at enhancing the performance of the manufacturing sector in order to bring about economic growth, employment creation, and wealth creation. The fourth thing you need to do is to state the persistence of the problem. For example, Yet, the manufacturing sector hasn't performed any better. Instead, its performance is still on the decline. You can also add statistical figures to back up this point if you actually have any. Okay? Now, the fifth thing you need to do is to state the consequences or effects of the problem. Okay? Now, for example, you can write something like this. The manufacturing sector can't expand its branches of operation, can't expand its output, these are effects on the sector. We also have effects on the economy, which may include can't create jobs, can't create wealth, can't contribute economic growth, etc. Okay. Now, the sixth thing you need to do is to state the reason for the research. For example, given the fact that manufacturing sectors are well-known catalysts for real growth and development of any nation, its underperformance clearly portends a great danger for the economy. All right. The seventh thing you need to do, that the seventh point you need to capture is that you state the gap in knowledge. For example, although several studies have been performed on this subject, and they have also used different strategies to tackle the problem. However, using this approach will make a more significant difference from the technique used and outcomes found by previous studies. All right. The last thing you need to capture is to conclude your statement which is the eighth point that is state the motivation for the study identify the way you propose to improve the current situation and move it closer to the goal or ideal it is of interest for example it is of interest in this study to conduct an analysis on how to solve this particular problem okay now i need to also state here that statement of problem centers most around your dependent variables while keeping silent on the independent variables or constructs. Okay? Connecting both while discussing the research problem automatically means conclusion of research and nothing to investigate. Okay, so basically this is the eighth step you need to employ when capturing or stating your research problem very clearly. Okay? This is the eight steps you need to employ when capturing your statement of the problem. Alright, so basically if this is your first time of coming to our channel to watch our YouTube video, kindly click the subscribe button to get more video updates on other information you may need concerning your research. And also share this video that to I mean share this video with whoever that might need it for their research purpose. Okay. Thank you for watching.